get some loose stuff out here. Gotta start filming a little bit. Oh, I didn't drag colors straight there. A lot of loose stuff out here. You see the horse? So they didn't have as much loose stuff last time. I oh, got some bugs. Yeah, All right. Go. Look at the bugs. Yeah, I see them. Those are cool. Yeah. Yeah. A lot more bugs. How much are these in here? Uh, they're all different prices. Um, a little camper. It's Hmm. Let's see what they got over here. Got some red lines. Tiny Stewart. Hmm. Some old red lines here. Uh huh. Huh? It's probably sit loose I think there's one left in that box. Thunderbird. Mm -hmm. Thunderbird. Mm -hmm. These, that one, these two, and this one are customs. This is just a wheel shop. Guy, that local guy near me down in Gate, Grayson County, did those. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, man, you made it. Good to yeah. see you, bud. Good to see you. There's a little film in here. Let's see what yeah. it is. I met your buddy, uh, uh, Eric, earlier. Oh, you know yeah. He's here. Uh, he's here. Different prices, or? They're three. <laughs> Got the old skyline. You can't find that thing nowhere. Apparently, y'all did. <laughs> Do what? How much are your stickers? Oh, 50 cents. He's got that skyline I was telling you about. I to dig through them a little bit. I'll dig through some of that stuff. Now I'll see the jaws everywhere. That's the first one I ever went to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much you got on this? How much you got on this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, I, I see. I've done that myself before. Uh, but I, <laughs> Ooh, look, they got the Scooby, even though it's not much different than most of the other ones, but... Yeah. All right. Masters University, mm -hmm. yeah. Fuzzy, yeah. yeah. It's the Muppet set there. Oh, there. We've got a bunch of different it. ones. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the band, though. Oh, look at this. <laughs> nice. All right, we're back at the crib. Man, this show was pretty cool. Uh, I went to it a few months ago with my son. They have about three or four a year. And um, last time I didn't spend a whole lot of money. But this time I really didn't spend a whole lot. I just I got a little bit of decent deals. But I got some vintage stuff. So spent a little bit of money. Let's take a look at what I found. Uh, I had the wife go with me. Uh, before we got there, we did stop at a Walmart out of my town from where I live and uh, did find this. This is the uh, Jurassic Park Jeep uh, monster truck. Yeah, I used to just collect Monster Jam um, grave diggers and then I had a uh, buy a Scooby ride and then one day I found a Bigfoot and uh, now the search is on for other ones this is one of them my uh, wa local walmart never gets so that was one thing i bought at walmart there um and they had a dollar tree next door i don't know if anybody's ever seen these but these are these cases check them out they only hold six cars i don't know it's just a dollar or something put a car in or something put it in the background had uh got uh Two of them for uh, my grandbabies. So there's one of them. And then I got two of them for myself. There's the other one. Like I said, they're only a dollar twenty-five. So I thought they were pretty cool. First thing I found when I got there was, yeah, the uh, Skyline from Passing the Furious. I've been looking for this monster truck uh, ever since it you know, first came out. And 
Of course, I just cannot find nothing. And I even work at a Walmart and I can't find this stuff. So <laughs> right here is another monster truck that I just had to get. And speaking of monster trucks, this is storm damage. Uh, yeah, I picked this up uh, off of that table that had a bunch of um, monster trucks for $2 a piece. I think I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them, which would have been $16. I asked the guy if he'd take 15 for all of them. He said yes. Rhonda found this one right here. This is a uh, Gunkster. Yeah, this is Gunkster, it says on the front. Yeah, Rhonda found that, my wife, and she said this one was pretty cool. Add this one to your collection. I also found a grave digger, uh, which I've already got this one anyway, but for two dollars, why not? Got this bug one. It's pretty cool. Uh I kept thinking, should I get it, shouldn't get it, you know. But two dollars, I probably should have just bought every one he had on the table. I think he had about six or seven more, but I didn't. I contained myself, so I'd have some money to buy some other stuff. This one's pretty cool. This looks like an old Hot Wheels from a long time ago that had the blue motorcycles in it. Yeah, I even seen that car, that truck there today. I probably should have asked how much it was and bought it and put it with this, but uh, this is a newer one. I've seen this out of Walmart here recently. Out of all of them, I think this one is the best one. <laughs> I don't know the name of it. It's this Thunder, Thunder Bus. And it reminds me of the 70s rides that used to have this stuff painted on side of them. And uh, I don't know, with the fur and stuff on the dash. It just reminds me of that. And it's kind of metal, so I figured I'd pick it up. Another Hot Wheels one, number 68. I think this is... I'm not exactly sure what this kind of car is. But, uh, yeah, it, it's pretty cool, whatever it is. I think it's a Camaro or something. Can't really tell, but uh, I always like the ones that set Hot Wheels on them, so. And this is the last one I got right here. It had the surfboards in it. Looks kind of rustic up. Can't tell really what the name is on the side of it. Maybe something says, I really can't tell, but it's got some stuff on the hood. Makes it look like it's rusted and stuff. Really cool. And that was it for all the... Um, monster trucks i did find uh some nascar there i uh, don't have this dale earnhardt style car the guy drilled a hole in the top of it it goes all the way through the freaking car because he said he hung him up on something but it was only a dollar i didn't care he did the same way with this one too this, if i can get it to come in so you can see it there it is he did it to this one too as you can see the top of it with the hole uh this is an earnhardt car too so I just uh, added that one to the Earnhardt collection. And an old Mountain Dew ride here. I think Dale Waltrip drove this back in the day. It's kind of beat up, but it's uh, I thought it was cool. My buddy Tony was there. Uh, we went outside afterwards and uh, did a little deal because he always sells some stuff to me. And he, <laughs> he showed me these. I've never seen them. They're called Tattoo Machines. He said he had never seen them either. Uh, there is a corvette right there it's got tattoos with it that's on the car and on the back of it he said it was cool that it showed the kid with the tattoos putting them on him and everything they had a whole set right there if anybody knows anything about these or remember these uh let me know i think they came out in 1992 he had that one and this one right here check this one out and it's got the tattoos and stuff with it. Uh, not going to open these up. That's one thing. And this one come from Toys R Us. It says right there. They were dollar, dollar ninety nine from nineteen ninety two. So yeah, I got these two off of him, real cheap, five bucks each. Also, he sold me this uh, Hot Wheels carrying case. It's one of them older ones. It's uh, I think I think he said from the year two thousand maybe or two two thousand one. I think they might have been one of the last years that they actually had this kind that uh, you can uh, see right here that has these in them. And this is what I grew up with, putting my cars in cases like that. I have a Matchbox one, and now I have a um, Hot Wheels one because there's a lot of Hot Wheels ones back in the 60s and 70s that are really pricey. I only gave them 10 bucks for this. This is real cool. Also picked up uh, Tony the... Um, mongoose 
I should have picked this up from him last time, but uh, he still had it. So I said, go ahead and bring that. I'd like to, to get that from my collection for the oldies. So that's a cool one right there. And I uh, got these rides here. This is a uh, Citation. I think it's an 81 model. Uh, my very first real car was one of these. Imagine this, but it had tan interior and had uh, orange uh, on the outside. Interior was uh, like a tannish color. Yeah, an orange a Citation. This is my very first car. Mine was a 1980. Don't look much different from this one. I think this one's an 81. Uh, but this is the old ones right here from Hong Kong Hot Wheels. You can tell got this off of one seller that was selling a bunch of oldies Also one of these this is a, a childhood Favorite of mine that I had back in the days. I definitely wanted to pick it up. Uh, I think I only paid five bucks for it, too Got the blue one of this. Uh, this is one of them black walls, but uh, This one's got don't have the rubber wheels or nothing, but this one's a lot better shape than mine this is the uh, Eagle truck, really nice color. All his stuff uh, was really good shape. Got this older matchbox off of him, uh, Aspen Ski Holidays here with the camper shell, really neat. Another dealer had the Baja Breaker. I just recently got the silver one off of Tony there in one of my videos uh, when I went to his place to check out some stuff that he had for sale. So now I've got this one too. This one's not real old. I did pick it up off a guy. Uh, I don't know exactly how old it is. It's uh, got the plastic bottoms to it, but I do like these Camaros like this. From the same guy, I got this one. This one is in really, really good shape. Um, I'm really not for sure what kind of car this is. Let me know if you know. I just remember a buddy of mine had it when we were kids, and uh, I just saw it and noticed it was in such good shape I had to get it. And I only paid five bucks for these. And another funny car right here. Uh, it's kind of scratched up and banged up, but I wanted it to go with my other one. This one, it's a Trans Am. I don't exactly remember the name of this one, but uh, it is an older one and it's, it's seen better days, but I had to grab it. And that is it from the Diecast Show in Rapid, Virginia. They have more set up for next year. Uh, but it's put on by uh, Ralph that owns the now, then, and forever collectibles shop that I've went to that everybody seems to love. I've had two different videos on that. Uh, check them uh, sh uh, them videos out, and um, he'll definitely be putting on more shows next year. Uh, so you can check with him, ask him on there, and he'll tell you the dates of the shows. I think he's got like four or five set up for next year. I think the next one's in February, so I definitely will be hitting up every one of them because it's only a little over an hour away from my house. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like. Give me a comment. Let me know what you like the, the best that I picked up. And uh, just uh, share this video if you dig it and uh, help me grow this channel. Music